Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to change the playback speed at which you listen to the music you are composing in MuseScore 3. I will share with you the three main ways that you can change the tempo of the music you are working on. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open. And I have uh, the melody of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star here so that you can listen to the speed of the piece as I make the changes. So when I initially set up this score, it had asked me uh, what speed I wanted the music to be played at. And I initially had set up a speed of 120 beats per minute, BPM. And what that means is that for every minute that goes by, there would be 120 pulses. And so that comes out to two pulses for every second. And so now, it, if I were to play this, and the play button is at the top of the top middle of the screen, so I'm going to go ahead and play this, and it's going to play at 120 beats per minute. Okay, so now you can hear what 120 beats per minute sounded like. Now let's say I would like to change the playback speed of this piece. First thing you're going to want to do is go over to the left hand top of the screen and you're going to go to view and you're going to find play panel. So view play panel. You could also just press F11. You'll click that. And then what it did is on the right bottom right hand uh, side of the screen, you will notice that it brought up the play panel. And I want to I just want to go through the play panel real quick so you can see uh, what it brought up. First thing it did is it brought up the position one and one. And what that means is position one one is uh, the first one is the measure that you're working on. So measure one. And then the second one is the pulse or the beat. So that's uh, beat number one. Then it has the time and then it has playback controls just like on the top of the screen. Um, so you can play back from here. And then the main thing I want to point out is the tempo here in the middle. So we have the tempo set at 120 beats per minute. And I would like to change that. So the way to do that is to, you could either scroll this up or click on it and drag it up. And so now we're making it faster or you can drag it down um, so that it's slower. Let's say I'd like to make it slower and I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and enter it in here too. You can do it by percentage. I'm gonna do 50%. So now it's at 60 beats per minute. So that's gonna be uh, slower than before. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that. And again, you can play it straight from here. So I'm gonna hit the playback button. You'll see how much slower it is. Okay, so you can see it's much slower than it was the first time. And that is uh, one of the easiest ways to change the playback tempo. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is a powerful tool with the playback tempo that MuseScore offers is that you can actually change the playback tempo while your piece is playing. And this is powerful because as you're composing your piece, the speed at which you hear it, you know, you might want to, you might think, oh, it might sound better if I speed it up or it might sound better if I slow it down. Well, now you can do that while it's playing and you can see um, what uh, you would prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rewind button and I wanna show you, I'm gonna start at 50% and as it's playing, I'm gonna adjust the tempo and you'll hear that it'll speed up and then I'm gonna slow it down too. So I'm gonna hit play and I'll show you how to do that. So you can see whenever it was playing, I went ahead and I had the tempo increase and then uh, there were times I had the tempo uh, decrease. So I sped it up and I slowed it down. So uh, this is the first way that you can change the tempo of the pieces that you are creating in MuseScore. Um, so the second way that you can uh, change the tempo, uh, playback tempo, uh, is to go over to the left hand side of the screen and you're going to find the uh, palette that is for tempo. And if you, don't, if you don't see it there, you can go up to add palettes. It, it'll probably be in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open uh, tempo. So I click the triangle to, to click that open. And now I can actually uh, set the tempo. So it says quarter note equals uh, 80 or half note equals 80. And again, this is uh, with the BPM, the beats per minute. And so let's go, I'm gonna click that and then drag it to where I would like it. And you're gonna drag it to any note that you would like. I'm gonna drag it to the first note. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we've got the quarter note equals 80. So now we'll play the piece at 80 pulses per minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the playback button so you can hear what 80 sounds like. So you can hear that's a little uh, faster than 60. 
And then um, now, in, uh, instead of changing the um, playback panel, now all I can do is just uh, cl uh, click on the 80, and it'll pull up uh, the I can that I can edit it. And I'm going to just hit delete, and I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to do, let's say, 180. And that'll be much faster. So now the piece will play at a quarter note equals 180. So I'm going to hit the uh, playback button and see what that sounds like. So you can see it changed the uh, playback speed. Now, if you ever want to check and see what it's playing back at, you can go down to the right-hand corner where you have your play panel. And again, you can see, oh, I had it at 85%. So that actually only played at 153. So now I can go ahead and put 100%. And now it will play at 180. And so now if I change this, uh, that it will uh, change the speed. So I click 50 there. And then now I'm going to hit play. And then now if you look at the playback on the bottom, it says tempo 50 beats per minute. So uh, another great part of using MuseScore is that you can change the tempo for every measure. Uh, for every beat too. So let's say I wanted the first measure to be 50, the second measure, um, I'm going to drag and drop this to the second measure. So we've got quarter note equals 80, and then I'm just going to drag a couple more of these. So you can see each measure, I can um, upload a different speed. Um, let's actually go back, let's make the first one maybe 180, and then the second measure, again, double click. I'm going to make that, uh, let's say, 50. And then let's say 150 and then 40 for this one. Okay. And now I'm going to hit rewind and then I can play back this one. You'll see each measure will change the speed. Okay. So again, these are um, some great tools that you can use uh, within MuseScore. So that was the second way that you can change the playback tempo or the tempo of your piece. Now, the nice thing about using the quarter note equals with the beat, beats per minute is that that communicates it to the um, performer as well. So that's one reason I like doing that. Now, if you want to delete this, you just select it. It'll turn blue and then uh, press delete on your keyboard. So I'm going to delete these. All right, and let's delete the first one. So the third way that you can change the tempo is by using uh, the tempo markings. So words like presto, and then you can click on more here. So again, it's in the tempo palette. Click on more, and you'll see there are different words. And each word has a different BPM associated with it. So uh, the, now the way they are listed here in this, uh, they go from slow to fast. So um, largo is a very slow tempo whereas uh, Andante is a walking speed tempo. And then they go to Vivace and Prestissimo, and those are very, very rapid, very quick speeds. So uh, very fast tempos. So let's go ahead and start out maybe at a moderate speed. So I'm just gonna click and drag. And then so I, you can either click and drag or you can have the note selected and then just click on moderato and it'll put the moderato above that note. And then what I want you to notice is when I play the piece, it's going to associate a speed with moderato, and I'll show you what that is. So it's kind of, a, again, a medium speed. Now, if I look down at the right-hand corner, it says that the tempo is 114 beats per minute. So uh, for this moderato, for the playback, they set it at 114. Again, you can change that by using the play panel. And again, I can use these different speeds uh, for every measure. So I'm going to click each um, first note of the measure and then change it. So moderato to Vivace, to let's go to Andante, and then let's finish it off with a Largo. You can hear what those sound like. And again, every uh, tempo marking is going to have a speed associated with it. Okay, so that is the third way that you can change the tempo markings. And again, to delete anything that you have done, just click on the element that you would like to delete, and then just press delete on your uh, keyboard. And that will delete the tempo marking that you have. And again, we went over to find the play panel again, is to go up to view, play panel, and then that will show up on the right-hand side of the screen, most likely at the bottom part of your screen. So. 
You now know how to change the tempo and the playback tempo of the music that you are creating in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, uh, please drop them in the comments section below. I will do my best to answer those. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe. I also have other MuseScore uh, videos available. I will put links to those around this video. I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.